say we get a patient, we're ready to move our patient out. The dash is down on the patient's leg, or maybe their foot, their feet are trapped in the footwell area. That happens a lot today. Because of the way vehicles are constructed, they crumple up and absorb energy. Now, the, one of the techniques in the past we learned was to use a dash roll. That was kind of putting a hydraulic ram in place from the base of the B post to in line with the top of the dashboard on the A post. We made relief cuts and pushed the dash away. How about using a spreader to lift the dash? And the reason why a dash lift will sometimes go much better than a dash roll today is the same reasoning that that dash has come down on the patient's legs. The vehicle has absorbed so much energy, it's crumpled up. The first place on a unibody constructed vehicle when it cannot absorb energy anymore is where the firewall meets the floor, and that's where your feet are. So, the other part of this is most vehicles today, in fact, all vehicles that have a two dual airbags, basically a driver's side and a passenger side front airbag, also have a dash reinforcement bar that runs through the dash. Now, we're going to use that bar that hurts us to do a dash roll to help us do a dash lift. We're going to make that into simple mechanical advantage, just class one lever as you will. Now, tool operation wise, we've already taken our fender off and made our vertical cut into the crumple zone. Now we need to isolate the rest of the dash. Now how are we going to do that? Well, first off, with a dash roll in the past, we needed to remove the entire roof for that to work. For a dash lift, all we need to do is cut out a section of that A post. So we're going to cut six inches of that A post out of the way. Then we're going to come in, we're going to make a relief cut in between the door hinges. A good place to make that relief cut is where the wiring looms comes out of the vehicle body and goes to the door. So we're going to make a nice deep cut into that area. Once we've done that, we're going to come in with our spreaders and we're going to come in at 90 degrees, basically at a right angle to that dashboard, put our spreader tips into that hole, and we're going to open the spreader up. As it opens up, it's going to lift the dash up and even maybe even push some of the floor down at the same time, getting it away from the patient's feet. The nice thing about a dash lift is, as that dash lift goes up and we put force underneath that dash reinforcement bar, because it's high tensile strength material, as it bends up, it stays bent up. Whereas in a dash roll, when we make our relief cut, the dash comes right back down if the ram slips or our cribbing slips as we go. Key note here to make sure that we try and do, make sure your cribbing is solid underneath the A-post to help facilitate that lift right away. But another thing is, say you do have a foot entrapment or a footwell entrapment. Sometimes it's not a bad idea to let the footwell actually come down first before you lift up. If, either way, it's going to make space, and that's bottom line is space is it. We want to make enough appropriate space to get the patient out.